to another workout. My name is Rebecca Louise and I'm going to be taking you through an amazing 10 minute workout that is going to get your outer thighs and a little bit of inner thighs on fire. Okay, so you're going to need some resistance bands. If you've got our burn bands, then perfect. And you're also going to need a kettlebell or some weights. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 40 seconds of exercise. We're going to do 15 seconds and then another 40 seconds. And we're going to do it twice through. So each exercise, you're going to get like 80 seconds. Okay, so we're going to feel the burn. So make sure that you hashtag I can feel the burn and that you're also following me on Facebook and Instagram, Rebecca Weiss Fitness, and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we are gonna get started right away. The first one we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get one of the resistance bands, okay? We're gonna put that around the top of our thigh right here. We're gonna hit play to get this going. And we're gonna do a nice wide squat with a leg lift. So a little pulse, okay? So squat down, knees out to the side, lift up and pulse. So just working everything up, you know, getting nice and strong, ready to get that great workout in today, ready to feel that burn. So pushing those knees out to the side, lifting up and taking it down. That's it. So we've got 40 seconds here and then we got a 15 second rest and then we're going to take it into another 40 seconds. Now, if you don't want to have bands on, you don't need to, but what it's going to do is it's going to create a little bit of extra resistance. That's it. So chest is lifted, push those knees out to the side, little pulses for me. Oh yeah, I can start to feel that working already. That's it. Give me one more. Down and squeeze. Okay, shake it out a little bit. We're going to get right into our second set. So we're going to do the same thing again. If you have got harder resistance bands, I want you to put those on real quick and because we really want to push our bodies today. So let's go. Squat down, two little pulses. That's it. Keep that chest nice and high. Squeeze in those glutes. You're going to feel it in those glutes too. You're going to feel it in those inner thighs. A little pulse. So putting your foot facing down, you're going to really feel it in that inner thigh. That's it. Halfway there. Keep it going. Stay nice and strong. You've got to stay with me, guys, for the whole workout. It is not going to work by doing one thing, okay? It's not going to work by just doing one exercise. We've got to push through the whole way. Now, if I'm doing it, you guys can do it too. That's it. All the way. One more. Squeeze and release. Okay. You're going to put this band around your ankles. I'm going to do a little bit of a walk. Okay. So you're going to come to the edge of your mat. What we're going to do is we're going to sit that booty back. I'm going to kind of push those knees out to the side a little bit and you're going to walk over to one side. So that's it. So across we go. You're going to be able to feel that in those inner thighs by sitting nice and low and taking it all the way across. That's it. So hold resistance on your band the whole time. We're not bringing those knees in so close together that we're losing that resistance. That's it. And pushing those knees out to the side. You're going to feel it in those inner thighs. You're going to feel it in those glutes too, in those hamstrings. Really push that booty back Woo, all the way through. That's it. You got this, guys. You just got to stay with me. You just got to keep that body moving. Give me one more over to this side and release. Ooh, you can feel that right in the outer thighs. All down the back here. We're going to take it into another step. So let's just take a nice big breath in together. Inhale through the nose. Oh, exhale out through the mouth. Shake it up. Pull your pants up, whatever you need to do. And let's take it back to the other side. Ooh, that's it. So pushing those knees out to the side just a little bit so they're not going inwards. You're going to feel it all down the backs of your leg and on those outer thighs. That's it. Hold that resistance. I know it's burning. I know you can feel it, but we're halfway there. Tap it and let's go all the way back. Sit a little bit lower in that booty for me. Keep it going. 15 seconds here. Yes. Sit lower. Hold on to that resistance. Just know that by getting through this workout, giving it absolutely everything, you're going to get those results that you want. Give me one more and release. Okay. Ooh, shake out those legs. You're going to bring the band up to over the top of your knees. You're going to grab hold of a weight or kettlebell, having your feet about hip width distance apart. And we're going to go into a, oh, we're going to go into a wide deadlift, actually. So you're going to come here and we're just going to come down and then squeeze up. That's it. So both feet facing forward, slightly out to the side and squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. So just holding that resistance band around our knees. Give us a little bit extra burn. Oh, we love the extra burn, right? Push those knees out to the side and then lift all the way up. That's it. So just hinging 
at your hip and then squeezing your glutes as you get to the top all the way and lift 10 seconds here Whew. can you feel those outer thighs yes if you can't feel it push your knees a little bit more out to the side and you'll start to feel it all waking up right around the back of your leg and one more and release okay put that kettlebell down to the ground Shake out your legs a little bit. Whew. Make sure the kettlebell doesn't fall on your feet. And let's go into our second step. Knees out to the side, chest is lifted, and let's take it down. Squeeze, yes. Push those knees out and just hinge at the top. Whew. So I'm keeping my back in a nice straight line. All I'm doing is I'm sticking my booty back, pushing my knees out to the side. That resistance band is really gonna help Okay, so if you don't have a resistance band, I'm gonna put a link below where you can grab ours. That's it, so squeeze to the top. Give me 15 seconds more here, all the way up, Whew. and all the way down. That's it. I'm really making sure that I'm using the outer thigh by pushing the knees out to the side. Give me one more, all the way, and release. Okay, we're gonna put that weight, those resistance bands off our legs, and we're gonna go into Ooh, some nice little leg lifts, okay? So all we're gonna do is putting that left leg forward, we're gonna extend the leg up and down. That's it. So toe pointing down to the ground. Ooh, lift up throughout that leg, you can feel it on that outer leg and in that hamstring. Pull that belly button into the spine and just lift up your back leg. That's it. Ooh, now you might be able to feel this a little bit in your lower back too, it's actually just gonna be your, lower, your upper butt. So just don't lift your leg up too high and push. You're keeping your toe nice and pointed. Keep it going. Hold that weight, hold that control. Stare at something down on the ground and lift up. You got this guys, keep on pushing through. One more and release. Okay, we're gonna go over to the other side. So you're gonna keep that toe nice and pointed. Here we go. Three, two, one. All that support on that front leg. Spread out those toes and let's lift up. Here we go. Take it nice and slow and controlled. Remember, we're working those legs. The heavier weight that you've got here, the more resistance that you're gonna put on your legs and the harder it's gonna be, okay? So if you want to challenge yourself, you need to keep on increasing your weight. Keep breathing, keep that toe pointed, 20 seconds. Let's go. Pull that belly button in. Release those shoulders away from the ears and keep lifting up. Whoo, you can feel that burn going on. Feeling it in those hamstrings. Let's keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. Hand release, okay. We're gonna do that one more time on either side. I know, I told you 40 seconds on each side. So shake out those legs. You can really feel it in those hamstrings. Those outer thighs are on fire. So here we go. This time, you're just going to Point your foot slightly out to the side so you can feel it even more this time in the inner thigh. Whew. So that supporting leg is a slight bend. Lean forward so that you can really use that weight and then turn the back foot out and lift up so that you can really feel it in the inside of that thigh. Now, you don't want to lift it up too high because that's where you're going to start to feel it maybe in your lower back, but keep squeezing. That's it, holding on to that supporting leg too. You got this, girls. Let's stay nice and strong together. We're gonna push through. Let's go. And lift. Three, two, and one. Okay, yes, good. You can feel it in the top parts of your glutes as well. Totally normal. Really try and engage that inner thigh muscle. Remember, you're having the signal from your brain to the muscle that you wanna use. Let's turn that foot out, and up we go. Now I just got a slight bend in my knee at the front and my brain is really focused on turning my foot out, lifting my leg up and squeezing the inside thigh. And I'm using that inside thigh to lift me up. So almost kind of like relax your foot and use that to pull you up and down. Let's keep going. 15 seconds here guys. Just stay nice and controlled. You've got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand release. 
Oh my goodness, okay. You're gonna take it nice and wide. You're gonna bring the weight in front of you and we are going to pulse down. We're gonna do three little pulses and then we're gonna come halfway up. So really pushing those knees out to the side. Nice, nice wide plie. Let's go. Whew, so a couple little pulses and then halfway up. That's it, we're not gonna come all the way up and we just stay nice and low. Oh yeah, use those inner thighs, guys. You got this. It's on fire. You might not be able to sit on the loo tomorrow, but that's okay. You're gonna have nice tight thighs. Whew. Okay, 20 seconds, halfway there. Lift up, take it down and squeeze. Just keep breathing. Stay nice and low for me. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now you can lift all the way up to the top and release that weight down. Oh my goodness, 10 minutes, it flies so quickly. If you wanna check out longer workouts, make sure you check out icanfeeltheburn.com. You'll get a daily 28 minute workout every single day, plus ah, lots of recipes and gaming and fun points that you guys can win. Right guys, make sure that you stay focused on your plan, you stay part of our community, you can always follow us on the Instagram burn and me, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Guys, I love you, you're amazing. Stay strong and I'll see you on our next workout. Bye guys.